Okay. So it didn't ask me if I was okay. But <laughs> didn't ask for your consent. No. <laughs> uh, hi guys. Um, it's just Aaron and Dana today. Marcus is doing some troubleshooting uh, to make sure that uh, we can live stream the services on Sunday. So he's he our is. hero. Yes, he is. Cause yeah. Well, I'm self quarantined. Plus, I wouldn't know what to do anyway. And then, yeah. So <laughs> glad. Glad he's there. <laughs> um, but so we're going to be looking at um, 1 Samuel uh, 15 verses 22 through 31 today from the lectionary reading. And um, and just like always, we're going to ask our uh, five questions or um, what stands out? Um, what questions do you have? Where do you see Jesus? only have four things and how can you sharing? apply it to now how can you apply it thank you and who are you going to share, <laughs> it with? share it with and as always we are sharing it with you so we got a big check on that box but <laughs> done <sighs> all right i'm gonna read from uh nrsv because i love nrsv that's also just because that's just what i have to use for school so it's uh, what i get so and Samuel said, has the Lord as great delight in burnt offerings and sacrifices as in obedience to the voice of the Lord? Surely to obey is better than sacrifice and to heed than the fat of rams. For rebellion is no less a sin than div divination. And stubbornness is like iniquity and idolatry because you have rejected the word of the Lord. He has also rejected you from being king. Saul said to Samuel, I have sinned for I have transgressed transgress the commandment of the Lord in your words, because I feared the people and obeyed their voice. Now, therefore, I pray, pardon my sin and return with me so that I may worship the Lord. Samuel said to Saul, I will not return with you, for you have rejected the word of the Lord, and the Lord have reject has rejected you from being king over Israel. As Samuel turned to go away, Saul caught hold of the helm of his robe and tore it. And so Samuel said to him, the Lord has torn the kingdom of Israel from you this very day and has given it to a neighbor of yours who is better than you. Moreover, the glory of Israel will not recant or change his mind, for he is not a mortal that he should change his mind. Then Saul said, I have sinned, yet honor me now before the elders of my people and before Israel and return with me so that I may worship the Lord your God. So Samuel turned back after Saul and Saul worshiped the Lord. So word to God for the people of God. Thanks, Thanks. be to God. Yeah. Okay. So I have to say that I'm, you know, listening to this and reading along and, um, and all I can think is, man, does this sound like a kid saying, but my friends made me do it. <laughs> Please forgive me. My I won't do it again. It's all their fault. But <laughs> and instead of like the, the, uh, you know, the traffic light, Mm -hmm. No cards that like kindergarten teachers use and they put oh, yeah. little pins the ripping of the robe. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Wow. So, yeah. Good to know that you know, people were just as petty back then as we are today. So. Yo, man, the Bible serving you the world's first pettiness. <laughs> <laughs> oh. So what questions do you have? Or what, sorry, what stood out to you? Um, I really liked the part where it says, for rebellion is no less a sin than divination, and stubbornness is like iniquity and idolatry. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know. I feel like with what we talked about uh, a couple of days ago about having like multiple lenses, mm -hmm. um, you got to be able to be open to hearing like feedback and being willing to say like, okay, maybe my way is not the right way. Mm -hmm. um, I took a course for scouts called Wood Badge, and it was um, one of like the big famous lines in it was um, feedback is a gift. Oh. Yeah. I like that. Mm -hmm. So every time that someone gives me feedback and I get a little heated, mm -hmm. I'm like, nope, just remember feedback is a gift and yeah. stubbornness is just the same as idolatry and, idol and uh, iniquity. Mm-hmm. I like it. What questions do you have? So, um, 
you know, what really stood out to me, though, was like the very beginning was, does the Lord delight in burnt offering? Because mine is NIV. Does the Lord delight in burnt offerings and sacrifices as much as in obeying the Lord? And just the idea that we can look like we're doing everything right, but um, if we're not doing it for the right reasons or with the, the right um, intention in our hearts, that is it really um, worth anything. And um, I think that's something that we can all get caught up in as Christians is sometimes that that need to look like I'm doing everything the way that I'm supposed to, mm -hmm. even if I'm just going through the motions. And um, and that was that was pretty powerful, I think. Yeah. These uh, like when we get into like these story writing books, like First Samuel, Ruth and Judges all the way past there. Oh, I love them so much because it's taking all of like the old stuff from the Bible and it's like, Hang on a second. <laughs> Let's go. Mm -hmm. I like it. Mm -hmm. So what questions do you have? I don't know. I think maybe like what changed in Samuel and Saul's like relationship where Samuel turned back after Saul and Saul worshiped the Lord. Like I wonder like was something, did something happen? Was there like a change of mind? Like, all right, all right, come on, Saul. Like, come yeah. on. Yeah. And then it, and it makes me want to just keep reading too. Like mm -hmm. finish the story. Like, no so, cliffhangers. So did Saul really change? <laughs> Let's keep reading. Well, Saul became Paul. Yeah. Okay. Oh, that's a different one. That's the New Testament. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, all right. Um, so, uh, where oh where do you see Jesus? Um, I kind of see it in in um like the accusation stanza where mm -hmm. it's um twenty two to twenty uh, three where it's um kind of saying like just like rebellion is no less than sin and divination stubbornness is like iniquity and idolatry because um you've rejected the word of the Lord like is burnt offerings like the same as obeying um and in the new testament jesus is really challenging people's perspective on like the new testament and saying like are you following word for word are you following like the faith in your heart and like paul also challenges this too um but i mean even in first samuel it's it's challenging like the earlier books of like leviticus and deuteronomy where it was like remember these rules, you got to do these rules, and then you're a good Jew. Mm -hmm. But Jesus, Paul, and even Samuel are like, it's all about your faith. Yeah. I like that. I, I also, yeah, I definitely see Jesus there. And then um, I kind of hear Jesus and when Samuel in verse 26 tells him he's not going to go back with him that the mm -hmm. Lord has rejected you as king over Israel. And it kind of reminds me of when Jesus is calling out the Pharisees and, um, you know, that you, you don't deserve this, like mm -hmm. you're, you're not doing the right things. And then, um, well, and thinking of the imagery too, of, uh, Samuel catching Saul's robe or Saul catching Samuel's robe. And just that thought of, um, you know, people were always just, if I could just touch the hem of Jesus's robe, then, then I'll be, um, I'll be cleaned or I'll be healed or I'll be saved. And so, um, so maybe that's what happened while, yeah. while Samuel turned back to Saul was maybe it's that same kind of thing. I don't know. Interesting. But yeah, I see that's, that's, I see lots of hints of Jesus in that whole interaction. I didn't see that before. I like that. You know, sometimes things come to me. <laughs> Every now and then. Yeah. You know, <laughs> yeah. Fine. <laughs> <laughs> so how can this apply to today? I think there's a, a part of me, like, when I'm in div school, and I mean, like, I think I'm just, it's just because I have to study the Bible every single day. <laughs> um, but I think a lot about, like, sin and how, like, do I sin every single day? Yes. But, like, we all do. And then I think about, like, um, oh, I've, I lost my train of thought on that. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right. 
<laughs> I'm a simple person. That's all I can say, I guess. Yeah. Um, no, I'm sorry. It's like, where where is like the big definite, am I going to be claimed as a sinner because I wore th uh, like mixed threads? Uh, mm -hmm. Or am I going to be a sinner because I didn't do like the big thing, which was like going out of my way to show like my Christian love, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. And so I, I definitely, I struggle with that, but it's, it's this kind of stuff that makes me feel a lot better about it and how it's like, it's redefining like, Hey, like mm -hmm. your faith is one, it's yours. And two, like, just because you're not burning offerings doesn't mean that you're a bad person. Also yeah. burning things is idolatry, but yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I think that's kind of what I thought about and what stood out to me is that same kind of thing that can apply is just that where am I, where am I just going about the motions and trying to look good um, rather than actually doing what I need to be doing or listening to God or, you know, when, when do I not have the right, the right motivation and the right things in my heart, but I, on the outside, I look like I'm doing everything right. And then yeah. how do I fix that? So just kind of that being aware of of what I'm doing, why I'm doing it, and um, and if it's really what God wants. I like that. Who are you going to share this with? Well, I'm sharing it with you, Erin. I feel, I feel really honored that I get this. <laughs> I'm sharing it with with uh, whoever chooses to watch this. That is so, true. Yay! Who are you sharing it with? <laughs> Uh, I'll probably share it with my mom. Yeah. That sounds really lame. No. Uh, my mom really enjoys seeing like what we do every week. So oh, um, when I told her that we were starting these things, she was like, send them to me like every single time. And I was like, okay, here you go. Great. So. I'm also sharing with um, <gasps> Gidget. Gidget. Who is, is now kind of mad at me because I woke her up to oh. show everybody. But So I'll let her go back to her little... Her little nap now. Okay. <laughs> but uh, yeah. All right. So um, I will, um, I'll pray for us now. Uh, thanks for joining us, everybody. Um, and let's bow our heads. Uh, thank you, Lord, so much uh, for this time together, uh, for the ways that we can still connect with one another, even if we can't um, physically be near. Uh, help us to uh, look for you in all the things that we do and to make sure that we're doing them for the right reasons um, and not just because of how they look. Um, help us to be generous of spirit um, and generous with our love and compassion during this time. It's in your name we pray. Amen. Amen. All right. Thank you guys for joining us. Thanks, we'll everybody. See you next time. Yeah.